Hi guys, so finally, I got my new wireless mic. This is the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro X B2. So join me as I unbox it. But before I unbox it, um, I just want to show you some of the things I also got. For me to be able to use this in the Insta360, I had to buy an uh, Insta360 mic adapter. Um, a holder so that the mic can be positioned by the by the mount uh, and still be invisible when you're doing Insta360. I also bought a USB to uh, 3.5 mm plug so that I can use also this mic for my phones. Since both of my Samsung phones no longer have a 3.5 mm, I have to buy the USB-C to 3.5 mm. So let's join me as we unbox this, this Saramonic Blink 500 Pro XB2. So here it is, the Blink 500 Pro XB2. Uh, I'll spare you the time of removing all those uh, wrapping. So let's just go ahead and let's open it up. User manual stickers. The charging base which actually charges a uh, one receiver and two transmitters so let's see what else comes with this package so you have the two uh, wind muffs or dead cats that you can in Install directly to the transmitter. So let's try it out. So the transmitter, uh, remember these transmitters, this wireless transmitter, are actually the mic itself already. As you can see, oh, there, here's the mic. So it has a built-in mic, so you can actually be using this directly clipped on to your shirt if you want to use it. And if you're like me, if you're going to be using it for vlogging and then there's a lot of wind, you may want to be putting on this wind windscreen. So it just clips on here. There you go. And then to remove it, just snap it out. So there's just two, two prongs here and there's two holes here. So for you to connect to the mic. So once again, it's just as simple as popping it in. And there you go. It's ready to use. And then you can just use the clip here to clip on to uh, the shirt of the one using the mic. This tool, you have two lapel mics. So this one I can probably clip on the inside of my helmet. And this one directly to the receive to the transmitter so the transmitter besides having its built-in mic you can also connect your own microphone but in this case this is already supplied uh, a small lapel lavalier mic so you can just connect it here so this will now be the mic and not the built-in you have two 3.5 mm cords i guess one is going to be for I think this one is for cameras and this one or are they the same i think they are the same so uh but the the end is different though so this one is if you notice so this one is different if you look at it so one is going to be for the camera this is for the camera and this is for cell phones and then, of course, your USB-A to USB-C. So, uh, hi guys. So I'm testing now the Saramonic Blink 500 Pro XB2. Um, as if you see here, I just have the actual wireless mic with the 
with the dead cat that, is, that comes with the kit. So I just clipped it on uh, on my shirt while traveling. Right now I'm traveling at around 50 kilometers per hour and I hope my sound comes in clear. Now one of the reasons why I'm using this uh, as opposed to my previous setup. Remember my previous setup was uh, I had a GoPro uh, that was uh, mounted in one of my helmet which was the Fox because it had uh, it had a nice visor where I can actually clip on the hero and then it had a wired mic that I bought from Lazada for 200 plus pesos and my audio was really great in fact a lot I've, I've had people comment on how clear my audio was asking of my setup but if I was using uh, purely just the Insta360 the way I was recording my vlog before, if I wasn't doing uh, voiceovers, was I would uh, connect my Cardo, which is the Cardo I have here in my helmet, connect to my phone uh, via Bluetooth, and then record my audio via the phone, my phone's voice recorder. And then I would sync it after, during post-production. Now, this would also happen when I was using the Insta360 and the GoPro, meaning I would have to sync the audio of the GoPro to the Insta360. So, imagine my extra work involved. So, uh, ko, how do I connect a mic to my Insta360? I bought a, a wired lavalier mic uh, from, also from Lazada. It was an aftermarket. It wasn't uh, made by Insta360. It worked, but the audio was very weak. As in, I can barely, I can barely hear it. Pag, pag, pag in, in increase ko naman yung volume ko sa post production, I would hear so many, so many unwanted background noise. So um, I gave up on that until uh, it was in one of our. Remember, I have I have a production studio where we do photo and video and during one of our video production one of my team was able to borrow a road microphone that we that they use for one of our shoot uh, back then we used to use the UHF VHF the wireless na mga luma medyo malalaki yung mga devices so they tried the road and they were really happy with it you know they were always saying ah Sayang wala tayo. So, I approached a friend who made a review of uh, a Saramonic uh, wireless microphone. So, I got in touch with, with him and I asked him, where did you get the Saramonic? And he sent me a link. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's... Uh, I forgot the name right now. Uh, I'll put the link below, but... It's uh, basically, it's the online website of the Lightroom Corporation. So, I ordered the Blink 500 Pro B2 and they messaged me after I ordered, uh, Sir, uh, we're going to just upgrade it to the Pro X, same price, for the same price. I was like, oh, oh, thank you. So now I am actually using the Pro X. So, the primary reason I bought the the ceremonic was for us to use for our production and we've actually used it already just last week we had the shoot and we used it already and uh, the team liked the sound quality I like the sound quality and the compactness of of this small unit makes it so much easier to use pati pag connect namin sa client and dali dati remember mo yung mga malaking UHF unit na wireless mic it's 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 bigger than a cell phone. Uh, hahanapin pa namin sa nami i-clip yan sa tao. Ilalagay ba namin sa bulsa nila? With this one, we can clip it anywhere. Sa pati sa belt loop nila, pwede namin i-clip. So So why did I go with the road? Well, I did consider the road. So I checked around prices, road and the Saramonic. The, the, they were both pretty much the same price. Uh, 
Kasi same budget price sila for the for the road in the Saramonic. But when I look in further, the Saramonic came with uh, two lavalier mics as part of the package. The road did not. So if I wanted to use uh, a lavalier mic, meaning I want as compared to if I'm not using a lavalier mic, as you can see, sobrang obvious na naka-clip on your mic. But if I want it, I, if I want the mic unit, like this receive, this transmitter hidden, I need a lavalier mic. And the uh, Saramonic came with two of them already. So, nakatipid na ako ng mga around 2,000 pesos if I needed to buy two good quality lavalier mics. And another thing that I really like is the the case that comes with the Saramonic is actually a charging case. So you have you have a case that will charge all your three devices. Remember, this is the B2, so it comes with with one one receiver and two transmitter, so that I can do uh, and record uh, two persons at a time. Malemo, next time we'll do a tandem vlog with my wife when we're doing a ride, so that's that's a possibility. And then we can also be uh, using it as a stereo microphone. In fact, you can program it to record separate channels, one left and one for the right. So, in terms of uh, capabilities of what I can do, or at least what are the functions that I can do, buying the B2 made more sense to me than just buying the B1 or the single unit. Kahit na in 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 eighty percent of the time, I'll probably just be using one at a time. Pero okay na rin yung may dalawa. Now, what's what's unique about the charging case? The the road the road is uh, charged individually, meaning you need to have a USB outlet and cord per unit. So if you have three units, one receiver, two transmitter and you need to charge it, you need to bring three, a USB, a USB adapter with three ports and three cords. Now, let's compare it to the Saramonic where the case itself is the one charging the unit and the case has a built-in battery. So, after, after you exhaust the battery of the Saramonic, you just put it back in the case and then it will charge again. In fact, the charging case can charge the Saramonic units or the, the up to three times but I need to verify I know it's around three times so which means without bringing a charger I should be able to do uh, 30 hours of uh, recording without having to require to charge in and out that because I can just always put back in the charging case and it will take care of charging the unit for me but we, without the case, a fully charged unit uh, is good for around 10 hours of recording. So, mahaba siya. Actually, one single charge, I, you probably ready would need to recharge. Unless, of course, it's going to be a long, uh, long shoot. And the beauty about having a charging case, of course, after you shoot, you're going to return it to the case. You will always have a freshly charged on your next shoot. So, hindi mo yung tipong nangyari na yata yun eh, sa mga cameras and everything you get to the shoot and you, for, you forgot that you actually charge your batteries so that is th those are the main reasons uh, why I actually went with uh, with the Saramonic so uh, later I will try to also do using the to test it with the uh, with the unit with this unit hidden and using the lavalier I hope I hope this is uh, going to sound good with this mic clipped onto the helmet. I, I'm keeping the helmet open, um, and so I want to see paano yung sound niya pag pag tumatakbo. But uh, I'm also going to do some sound samples of uh, the helmet closed. So now that uh, uh, I know I'm, I'm I'm I know I'm I bought the I'm finding reasons, actually, uh, to defend the purchase of this Saramonic. But uh, I've already used it in one shoot, so medyo dahan-dahan ko na siya nababawi. 
Eh, ang vlog ko naman is mostly personal so wala namang kinikita dito so never ko talaga mababawi ito for the vlog so now that uh, uh, I now have this wireless microphone I set out to find how do I connect this wireless microphone to the Insta360 so yun yung makikita nyo on the earlier part of this video on what are the parts that I bought So I can use it with the Insta360. I'm going to try to see how the audio is going to sound when I go a little bit faster. So let's 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 try it out with wind noise and the helmet visor up. So let's see. At first, I thought the the mic would would bother me having it here. Hindi naman masyado. It's not obstructing my view, and it's not really touching my face. Since nakabalaklava naman ako, so it doesn't really irritate me. But let's see. Let's go. Okay, I'm running around 80 with the visor up. Uh, how do I sound? Testing. One, two, three. Okay, I'm trying now with the with the visor down and just from listening in to my own voice I can hear that it's actually quite muffled but uh, hopefully in the in the video it's not gonna sound as bad but this is how it sound with the visor on uh, with the visor close I meant so I guess with the visor close it doesn't really matter what speed i am since there's no wind coming in okay guys uh that was a quick uh, review on the saramonic blink 500 pro xb2 so if you guys want to order you check out kismo plus i'll put the link on the description and uh, so far i'm actually liking this so thank you and uh till the next vlog By the way, if you haven't, please do like and subscribe. Bye.